my grandma tells her children, you will never be beautiful. You look too Jewish. So my aunt brought surgical blade to bone. Narrow nose a few centimeters closer to America accepting her just so she could accept herself. Carving down her natural beauty that her mother America doesn't understand so she fears and calls it ugly. While my father swallows hatred quietly, internally letting roots erode. Washed away in pork grease and lost tongue, honey glazed ham and Christmas trees on display in front windows, convincing the neighbors his family can't blend better than grime. Saving Aryan American dreams, purity of Midwest white suburbs, transplanted to Frisco in the 70s, Three children later, we locate us to Piedmont for top-notch public schools where all the popular girls had yellow hair, hanging limp, hazy eyes glazed over, sapphire jewels, over starving bones, peach pink skin pulled tight. Then how should I feel when I play in the sun and then my daddy calls me his brown berry? When sun kissed me all the tone? When boys in seventh grade called me Hebrew slave. Girls on the playground mocked my best friend's curls asking, have you ever seen a hairbrush and a mirror? So she tugs hot irons through her locks, wishing the waves light and lifeless, ignoring slurs lodged into our organs like bullets from the slaughter. Your cacophonous music, that chanting sounds like gibberish, some hacking cough, our ancient poetic too beautiful for ignorant ears to understand, so they fear and call it ugly. We comprise 0.2% of the world population and take up too much space? Tucked away into these liberal pockets of the Bay? Sing ourselves the pacifying lullaby that anti-Semitism is dead? just so we can sleep at night. Pretending like genocide is just a residual great-grandparents nightmare, that doesn't touch us. Like this hate is not happening today in every edge of the globe. How can we pretend this problem died in Europe 60 years ago when three weeks ago in San Francisco, swastikas stained swing side benches at Glen Park? When arsonists in Greece hurl bars of soap leave sud streaks on singed synagogue walls to remind us that Nazis melted our remains into soap. And neo Nazis still desecrate Jewish cemeteries, scrawling, Jews, get out, shattering our tombstones. Even in death, we cannot rest. Even in graves, we take up too much space. And still, there is no way to suffocate us because our bodies breathe. Our great grandparents' memories, we rebuild everything that's destroyed for a thousand years stronger. So we will never stop laughing and praying and being too much. Never stop living. We will never stop.